Hello everyone, welcome again. I hope you have seen my previous video on the file chooser. So this is the second part on the file chooser video tutorial. So in this video tutorial, we're going to discuss about the two things. First, we're going to add the extension filter inside the file chooser. I will tell you how this is useful when we are going to open the file chooser dialog window. And then we will see how we can customize the file chooser like we can set the default open place that means once you press the open file chooser then the file chooser will display you a particular location so we will discuss about these two things so let's get started so guys i have given the link of this project in the description so you can just download and import the same project in the netbeans ide okay and then you can continue this video so that will be helpful for you if you have not seen my previous video so please watch that video first and then come back here so you will get a good understanding so <clears throat> so far what we have done we have created this button action and then we have added this code to open the file chooser and then open the selected file okay similar way we have created this action method and then we have created this multiple file chooser and we have <coughs> done the coding for opening all those selected file so guys <coughs> so i'm going to show you how you can add the extension filter inside the file chooser so let me run this example and i will show you what i'm going to do so just click on this first button and you will see this open dialog window so right here you can see that there's nothing no filter is available and you have just only option to select the file name so once just a, just a moment okay this folder i'm going to select a file inside this folder suppose in case you have uh, more than 50 or 80 files and you have only you have to find out your target file among those 50 files so that is not good thing so in that case we can add the filter just here okay after this file name so we have a choice once we select that we have to display only the jpg then the jpg will be displayed only here okay and once we choose like we have to display the png or we have to display only the text file so the filter will help you to find out only the particular extension that you required and that among them you can choose your file easily so we're going to do the, do the same thing so just close it right now and come back here in the fxml document controller.java so in the first file chooser and we are inside this handle button action method so now we have to do a sum coding for that okay so right here we have to write like file chooser dot get extension filters okay and now use add add all method and just wait and here we have to create the filters what kind of filter suppose we want to display all files then what we write it here like we will create new file dot extension new fi file chooser dot extension filter and here we have to give the description that will display in the drop down of the filter so i will use like all images and we have to give the expression like uh, 
star dot star it means that display all kind of images all kind of files and hold on and just I'm going to create another one file chooser dot extension filter okay <clears throat> and here suppose I want to display only the JPG file so I will give the description this is JPG and in the double quotes I have to pass the extension like star dot JPG star means file name can be anything but the extension should be dot JPG so filter will work and filter the files for you those have extension dot JPG okay now place a comma here and now add another new one file chooser dot extension filter and here I want to display the PNG file so I will give like it star dot PNG I will add one more so we have lots of choices you can just uh, give the description and give the extension name okay so and filter will apply and it will work and filter the files as per given extension and here I'm going to give like text file so I have to give like star dot txt okay guys it's done so we are inside this add all method and we passing this one by one and now we have to place the semicolon so it's complete now so the file chooser dot get extension filter dot add all with the help of this add all we have added these extension filter okay guys now save this file and do a clean build of this project okay and we're going to run this so the head is the stage and uh, I'm going to press this button okay guys now see here after this file name we have this filter like let me show you how does it work so I'm going to select a folder which has a multiple files so right here we have a multiple files we have images we have text file we have ppt and we have a doc file so right here uh, this filter is selected to all images but I am going to change this one I have selected the jpg now you can see the result here only the jpg file is going to display here okay now I'm going to change it png okay guys now you see here only this one PNG file is available and filter is applied and we're getting the results on the same time and I'm going to select the text file if you have to choose the select file then you can select this filter now you see that we have only the one text file inside this folder so guys that's why this this extension filter is most useful when you are going to open the file from a folder that have a lots of file but lots of file with different extension okay so in such a way we can apply the filters in the file chooser and if you want to apply the file uh, the same filter extension filters with the multiple file chooser so we have to apply the same thing okay it, this is very simple so you have to just use these lines inside this method only this is really simple you guys can do it your own uh, for the multiple file chooser I hope you guys got a clear understanding on this concept that I have described in this video tutorial guys I'm going to tell you the second point of uh, this video tutorial where we can configure the file chooser suppose you if you want to open the particular location 
uh, once we open this file chooser dialog window so how we can we can do that we have to just simply write a small <coughs> code for that so I will show you so I'm going to co uh, configure the first one the single file chooser like here so you have to use the file chooser object and then you have to use the set initial directory okay and here inside you have to use like a file object and suppose if you want to open the home user home like uh, the place where we have a library like videos my document and uh, my videos so all those stuff so that location will be opened by this code so I'm going to open the same thing so we have to use the system class system dot get hold on system dot get get property and we have to pass the key so what is the key put the double quotes you have to press you you have to type user dot home now it will open that location now just save it <coughs> and do a clean build of this project okay okay now it's done and going to execute this program so just click on this button and you will see here we have opened the home okay users dot home so this is the location so you can pass the key and you can open the default location just wait suppose I'm not going to add this line then what is the default location so now again run this program and now click this button you can see here we are in this folder this PC but once you specify the initial directory location and the file chooser file chooser dialog window will open that location okay guys I hope this is clear to you so this is simple so we have required this line to open the initial directory location I hope you guys have the clear understanding now on the whole concept that I have described in this video tutorial so guys keep watching that's all guys I hope you enjoyed this video so please like and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon for new video updates. Thanks for watching.